Hi, I'm Dr. Janelle Sinclair, and in today's video, we're going to discuss how stress, that is adrenal stress, can cause a hormonal imbalance in women. I'll help you understand how the stress hormone cortisol impacts and is related to the female sex hormone progesterone. This is really applicable for anyone struggling with PMS, PMDD or low progesterone levels. If you haven't met me before, I'm Dr. Janelle Sinclair and I've got a PhD in biochemistry and I'm a natural medicine practitioner who specialises in mental health. And on this YouTube channel, you'll find practical videos discussing effective and safe natural therapies for depression and anxiety. And if you're new here, consider subscribing and hit that bell button so you'll be notified about our new weekly videos. So, let's get into this. So in the last couple of weeks, we've been talking about PMS, PMDD and their causes. Progesterone deficiency is one of the main causes of PMS and PMDD. But what a lot of people don't understand is how adrenal stress can cause a hormonal imbalance in women. So that's what we're going to discuss today. You might want to go back and watch the videos on the causes of PMDD and secondly, low progesterone symptoms if you haven't watched them already. So let's take a simple look at how adrenal and sex hormones are produced in the body. So this is a simplified figure showing the steroid hormones and how they are produced in the body. Let me explain it a little. Steroid hormones include pregnenolone and progesterone, cortisol, which are the, is the adrenal stress or fight or flight hormone, androgens, which are male type hormones such as testosterone and DHEA, and finally estrogen, the female sex hormone. On the figure you can see that steroid hormones are made out of cholesterol. The cholesterol is converted into pregnenolone and you can think of pregnenolone as the grandfather hormone. All the other steroid hormones are made from it. Pregnenolone can be converted into the other steroid hormones by going down two main pathways. Firstly, it can become an androgen like DHEA or testosterone. Then testosterone can be converted into estrogen. This might be another video topic, but when men are having increased breast growth, which is due to high estrogen, it's this step in the pathway, the conversion of testosterone into estrogen, that is being abnormally upregulated. Now let's look at the other hormones that pregnenolone can be made into. And this is really what's important in today's video. Pregnenolone can convert into progesterone. Remember progesterone is the female hormone that we discussed in last week's video and a deficiency in this hormone can cause PMS and PMDD. Next, the progesterone can be converted into the adrenal hormone cortisol. Can you see that cortisol is downstream from progesterone? It's worth noting that cortisol is necessary for life and survival, whereas progesterone is not. It's just important for fertility. Now that you've got the background of how adrenal and sex hormones are produced in the body, and how one can be converted into another, let's discuss how stress, adrenal stress, can create a hormonal imbalance in women. What I'm going to explain is called either the progesterone steel or the cortisol shunt. And I'm sure you'll understand why in a minute. Imagine you're under a whole lot of stress. Something's happening in your life and your body is in that fight and flight response, making lots of cortisol. Not just a one-off incident, but long-term daily stress. Where does that cortisol come from? Well, actually, the body steals from progesterone and shunts it into cortisol. And this long-term stress, these high cortisol levels, are one of the underlying causes of a progesterone deficiency. Remember I said cortisol is vital for life, whereas progesterone and fertility is just a luxury? 
Well, when there's lots of long-term stress, the body puts fertility and therefore progesterone down the priority list and makes cortisol at the expense of progesterone. Have you ha ever had a really stressful time in your life and it's impacted your menstrual cycle and your period? Perhaps you had a shorter or a longer cycle or a skipped your period altogether. Maybe you had more intense PMS symptoms, mood swings or depression. Or maybe you had some spotting a week before your period was due. That's because your body is stealing your progesterone because of the stress and the high cortisol levels that your body needed to create. The same type of principle applies with someone with adrenal fatigue, very low cortisol levels. Because the adrenal glands have been overworked for so long under long-term stress, the, the body is struggling to produce enough cortisol or it's overcompensating and getting rid of that cortisol at an increased rate. Well, this um, impact on the cortisol levels then go uh, on to affect the progesterone as well. So now that you understand how the body steals progesterone to make stress hormones, I hope you'll see that managing stress levels, doing diaphragm breathing, or supporting your adrenal glands nutritionally are important strategies for resolving PMS, PMDD, or low progesterone. I've got a video on the five best supplements for adrenal fatigue that you might want to check out. And if you've got fatigue, anxiety, or depression, I've got a symptom checklist that you'll want to fill in to uncover whether you have any other nutritional deficiencies, hormonal imbalances, or gut dysbiosis that's causing your symptoms. And if you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.